Welcome to my tutorial on how to make a 3D game in Unity. In this video, we will be adding our player model to our game and giving him some animations when he runs, as shown here. Remember to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and like my video, it helps me a lot. Let's begin. Now we're going to add our player model to the scene. We're going to go down here to our RPG Hero package that we imported. We're going to go over to Prefabs and I'm going to grab this one right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our model and we're going to attach it to our player character that we created. So we're simply going to drag it down and as you can see he is now a child of the player character. But he's not lined up with our capsule. So that's easy to fix. We're simply going to put him at the capsule's coordinates by making both that zero. And but we can still see the capsule so we have to make hit that disappear so we're gonna go over here to the right hand side and we're gonna click off mesh render now we can fully see our character model however when we hit play we can see that he has animations but in the way that the prefab was designed they just put all the animations to play in a row but we can still move it around with all the animations playing like that. Oh, he died. So now we're going to go in the animator and fix all our animations to our movement. In our RPG Hero folder, we will see two other folders, one called Animations and one called Animator. If we open the Animations folder, we will see all the animations that were pre-designed and included with our hero. If, for example, we click on this Run Sword animation, when we double click on it, we will see the setup for how this animation was created. We can see over here on the left hand side that these are the individual body parts in the mesh skeleton that were moved around to create the animation, and these were the various positions and rotations that were applied to it. Over here on the right hand side, we can see at what point in time during the animation those were applied. If we go down here to the right hand side and hit play we'll see an example of our animation and then we can click right here on this box actually we gotta pause it first and then we can grab this slide right here and from the beginning we can watch slowly how the animation plays out step by step or frame by frame If we go into the animator folder, we will find the animator controller. The animator controller allows you to arrange and manage a set of animation clips so that the character or object you want to animate can transition between animation states. Our hero here already came with an animator, but if we wanted to make our own, we would simply left click, go up to create, and go down to animator controller. Now, let's open up our pre-made one. So as you can see here, there is an entry point for the animations. And each of these arrows is a transition to the next animation. So after the entry, it goes into its default animation, set as layer default state. This is the animation that we played first after the entry. You can make any other animation at the default state but we'll keep it as idle then what happens is that these it goes into the next animations from the idle sword shield animation it goes into the normal attack animation let's just move this over then it goes into another attack back to idle get hit die die recovery so if we go back to our scene and hit play as we saw before that's exactly what happens. It goes to idle, it goes to attack, there goes the second attack, then it goes back to idle, now he should be getting hit, and so on and so forth. So back to our empty animation state here, if we wanted to let's say recreate one, we would go to our animations and we would just go get our idle sword, we would place it here, and he's automatically orange 
and the transition has already been applied. So then we'll do, I, let's just go in the order they wanted it. We'll go here, we'll grab this normal attack. Now to connect one animation to the other, you simply left click, make transition, and go to the next animation. When you click on the transition, you'll see that we have both animations here. We have the idle sword shield animation here, and our normal attack sword shield animation. And we can see here it overlaps, because this is the transition from one animation to the other. And you can change this if you want a shorter transition, a longer transition, by moving these arrows, like so to transition from one animation to the other. To remove this, simply go over here and hit that minus sign and it will disconnect your transition. So let's go back to our sword and shield animator here and let's disconnect the transition from the idle sword and shield to the normal attack and let's do the same over here for this run sword and shield animation state because this is going to be the first animation we're going to use. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some parameters and these will be the criteria by which we're going to transition from one animation to the other. So we're simply going to call this speed and we'll leave that blank for now. So right here in our sword and shield, we're going to left click, hit make transition, and go right here. And while we're here, we're going to, we're going to go to the transition. We want to, it has exit time. We don't want that because we don't want it to just end and go back. And we don't want a fixed duration. And right here, we're going to add our speed and we're going to say we want it greater than let's just try 0 0.1 that means when the speed of the character exceeds 0.1 then the animation will start now we don't just want the uh, animation to go from idle to run and just continue to be there we want it to transition back when the character stops moving so we're going to create another transition back we're going to click on that and we're going to click off our has exit time and our fixed duration and we're going to add it again but this time it's going to be less than 0 0.1 so when our character speed becomes greater than 0 0.1 it'll initiate the run the running animation when it is less than that he'll go back to idle and he'll stop so now let's go into Visual Studio and start adding some code to this. So let's go down here into our scripts and open up our player controller. And up here we're going to put public because we want to be able to see it in the editor. Animator which is our animator class and anim which is what we're going to call it. You can name this anything. I have named it Anim. Down here in our update, we are going to call our animator set float speed in parentheses, comma, space, another parentheses, mathf. And mathf, what it does, it allows you to call a bunch of math functions. In this case, we are calling uh, the absolute value of our speed. We don't want it to be negative. So that's going to be another parentheses input dot get access, another parentheses quotation vertical close and then we should actually be on the side of that plus mathf dot ebs input dot get access 
rotation horizontal and I should have four parentheses here one two three four good so in a nutshell where this is our animator and our set float is basically saying here's the parameter we created in the animator and we wanted to either be greater than 0.1 to animate our character when he moves or less than 0.1 when he stops and that is being dictated by these inputs right here which comes from our move direction function up here so let's save and go back into unity so now we just need to let it compile and we're gonna go to our player and right here is our player controller script and right here is the spot for us to designate our animator which comes from our RPG hero so we're gonna drag that oops go down here we're gonna drag that over into here and there he is and then we're gonna hit play and now our character is animated as he runs and then when I let go his running animation stops great his lateral and side movements are a little wonky so we're gonna fix that actually we'll cover that in the next video so that this video doesn't get too long as always thank you for watching like my video subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook and twitter and support me on patreon all links are in the description below see you next time